Liquid take off. Status frequency runway heading, clear take off runway 10 left, American 2611. American 2611, was it over the runway? Affirmative, American 2611. I think we hit her with the wheel. Okay. American 2611, contact departure 126.62. Flyby, fair American 2611. American 
611, just maintain 3000 and then we'll just track the localizer inbound. 3000, track the localizer inbound, American 2611. American 2611, once you track the localizer inbound, the tower will have uh, further instructions. Maintain your altitude of 3000. Contact the, pro or the tower now on 120.75. 1275 for American 2611, uh, Tower American 2611, we're at 3,000 feet, uh, localized inbound, run by 10 Charlie. 2611, Rogers, to verify you want to do a low approach, is that correct? Affirmative, we've had some sort of bird strike on departure, and we've got heavy vibration, we may think it affected our landing gear as well. American 2611, cleared low approach, 2810 center, all the binoculars out as well as the south tower, hold on. Okay, I do appreciate that. So we're cleared to low and over for American 2611. 2611, after the low approach, um, just uh, plan to climb to an altitude, whatever you can climb to, uh, no higher than 5,000, and you'll all get a right turn after the uh, low approach is done. Okay, understood. Uh, cleared uh, up to 5,000 on the approach, and uh, we'll comply in American 2611. So yeah, if you can go back up to at least 3,000, that would test with the trade. Yeah, 3,000 will work good for us, American 2611. And uh, American 2611, we are now climbing up to the altitude 2,000, runway heading. American 2611, make a right turn heading 220 and climb maintain 3,000 at least if you can. Right heading 220 to altitude 3,000, American 2611. The consensus uh, from here and what I saw, it appears all three gear are down. Um, they did, in fact, find three ducks on the runway. So, again, it appears from our perspective that the gear, three gear is down. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't know if you, there was anything affecting the left engine there, too, but we do have some associated failures that uh, we're uh, starting to address here now, too. Um, We'd like uh, to go maybe another about a 10 mile downwind for another approach for American 2611. All right, American 2611, roger that. And what, can you climb and maintain uh, 3,000 to verify? Yeah, we can climb to 3,000. 2,100 for 3,000 this time, American 2611. Do you want to come back for another little approach or for landing? We're going to come back for landing, American 2611. Eric, Mike, just well, Roger that. Contact uh, 126.62 now, please. 2662. Eric, Mike, just well, and contact departure 126.62, please. Uh, it's American uh, 2611. American 2611, Chicago departure. You are ready to contact about four miles south of the airport. Turn right heading 250 heading and go ahead. Two five zero, and we uh, lost the generator. We also lost a uh, green hydraulic system, and we're troubleshooting as we come back for landing. Okay, a green uh, we lost a generator and a green uh, hydraulic system. Yes, sir. One of our hydraulic systems. Twenty six eleven. Roger that. Do you need to go uh, right back in then, or can you for like a ten uh, fifteen mile um, final? Ten fifteen mile final while we uh, do a little troubleshooting and come and land. Excellent. Sounds good. American 2611, expect runway 10 center, 10 center, and uh, do you need me to uh, read uh, the information, Sierra, for you? Please do. Information, Sierra, at O'Hare, wind is uh, 120 at 14, visibility 7 miles, view 2000, broken 4000, uh, temperature 16, 2.14, O'Hare altimeter 29 or 59. Okay, thank you. Uh, 2612. American 2611, uh, they also wanted me, the tower wanted me to let you know, they might have told you already that you hit uh, three deaths, or they found three deaths. Yeah, they're fairly large. Okay, thank you. We're going to uh, approach American 2611. American 2611, go ahead. Uh, we have alternate braking, we don't know what we're going to have for turnoff, so we're going to stop on the runway. American 2611, thank you very much for that, I appreciate it. Contact Chicago approach again, 133.623362, and fly heading up 270. All right, 270, American 2611. American 2611, Chicago.
And we're up to 2611. America 2611, fly heading up 240, sector for the uh, ILS Time Center. 240, setting American 2611. American 2611, I'll turn you right at the 18 mile final. Thank you, 2611. American 2611, what speed do you want to do on final? Uh, 180, probably. Okay, American 2611, Roger. American 2611, you can maintain 180 on that, so whatever you need. All right, 180 on American 2611, turn right, heading 360. 360, American 2611. American 2611, turn right, heading 080, intercept the 10th center localizer. 080, intercept 10th center localizer, American 2611. American 2611 is uh, seven miles, or correction, it's uh, six miles from Aruda. Maintain 3,000 till established. Cleared ILS runway 10 center approach. 3,000, uh, to established, cleared 10 center approach, American 2611. American 2611, fly heading 360, Roger. American 2611. Go ahead. In the event of a missed approach, we're just going to climb straight out to three, if that's okay. American 2611, you can work that out with the tower. You can go and contact them now on 120.75. 12075, thank you. Tower American 2611, ILS 10 center at 10 miles. American 2611, retire with 140 at 20, 2810 center, clear to land. Clear to land, 10 center, American 2611. Can we get a wind check for American 2611 and confirm landing checklist, or landing clearance? The wind is 140 at 20, American 2611. The runway is clear. You are clear to land, runway 10 center. Vehicles are standing by as you exit. Okay, we may be able to have to stop on the runway uh, due to nozzle steering, but uh, clear to land, runway 10 center, American 2611. It won't be a problem at all, sir. You're the only customer. Twenty-six eleven. Stay in touch. Uh, American twenty-six eleven. We'd just like the security or the emergency vehicles to have a quick look at the, the aircraft, and then we'll, uh, we'll advise from there. American twenty-six eleven. Contact one one nine or point two five, nineteen and a quarter. All of the emergency vehicles are on that frequency, waiting to stand by. One one nine two five. Thank you very much, American twenty-six eleven.